today's the last day of our road trip. We're gonna spend a couple hours in Butte. We were staying just a little bit outside of town. The, ho the hotel is kind of a funny one. We wouldn't recommend it. No. It's pet friendly and I think there was some dog poo in our bathroom. What was not in the bathroom? A shower curtain. We had to, we had to call the front desk to get a shower curtain. But so. we stayed there because it was cheap. It was cheap. And uh, it was where we needed it to be. Yes. So, yes. you know, so you, they can't the all be winners. The shower after we got the curtain was actually a very nice shower. So far on this trip, we've really liked our hotels that we've got blindly. Yeah, this was kind of a last minute trip, and yeah. so uh, not everything was available to us. But we kind of rolled the dice on a few, and we won most of the time. But yes. like all gambling, <laughs> you'll eventually lose. <laughs> Kids, let that be a lesson. These are the shafts that used to take the miners down into the mines. And of course, across the street, you have the miners' church. Miners apparently came here from all over the world. You see churches of all different denominations. You see a synagogue. There's one of these shafts that says it was down a mile deep. So guys would come here and go down into the earth. There's another one back there. We're gonna head out to the pit. They don't seem to have shaft mines anymore here. I may be wrong on that, but they do have a large open pit mine. So the pit's kind of pretty. <laughs> the water is very still and there's uh, reflections on the mountains on the other side. That water is toxic, um, but there are animals living in it. There's some algae they've discovered that eats iron and there are some water bugs. That I can't remember what they're called. I got the idea they're those bugs that sit on top of the water. Water skeeters. Yeah. <laughs> That's but... what we used to call them. <laughs> They're treating the water and taking copper and minerals out and putting it in a reservoir. And apparently they've shut down all the tunnel mines and this water also floods them. Miners traditionally have had something to eat called a pasty. Do you want to explain about the pasties? Well, my grandpa was both a miner and a baker. Um, but mostly he had bakeries and he made something called a pasty, which is a pie, a little ham pie um, with meat and potatoes and carrots. But I think they originated in the mines in uh, southern England in Cornwall. Is that where the mines are? Uh, yeah, but I think they also had them in the north of England. Or maybe Wales even. Yeah. So anyway. In England, I think they originated their little pies uh, that miners could just put in their pocket and it would be a whole meal. And they have a pasty place, so we're gonna go get some. Go and they're Nancy's pasties, so 
we gotta go. So this is Nancy's pasties. Not to be confused with Nancy's pasties, but that's a story for another time. Even though that was a very cute little place, we decided to get our pasties to go. Here we go. This is it. It's big. It's <laughs> as big as me. There was only one flavor of pasties, so we're going to go ahead and dig in. We also got some gravy with it, which, you oh. know, if gravy's an option, why not? Oh, Nancy There's, has broken it I open. Just broke it open. That's what it looks like. So this is a lot like what my grandpa's looked like. So. So you can see it's just a hearty beef and potatoes. I assume it's beef. Hearty meat and potatoes kind of meal um, that a miner could put in his pocket and carry with him down into the mine. There's a specific destination that I've wanted to go to here in Butte, which was one of the reasons we stayed here. When I was young, I had a hero. Every time this guy was on TV, every time he was anywhere, I watched him because he was amazing to me. He was fearless, he was loud, he was awesome. He was quite reckless, but he's the guy that I admired. He was born and raised here in Butte, Montana, and his final resting place is here as well. We're stopping at Idaho Falls. So we're gonna see how these compare to the Great Falls. It's a little bit loud here, but Nancy, what do you think of the falls? They're pretty great. That moose is a giant chia pet. Butte is a pretty nice place. It, it looks like the people of Butte really like their heritage and they are working to preserve the architecture and buildings and signage. Brand new restaurant still has the old sign. So I like that. I thought that was pretty cool. Are you not going to say anything? I'm not sure what to say. What do you want to say? I don't know. Say something. Yes.